much so as Hurricane Ian approaches, gas prices are on the rise after dropping for the past two months. Uh, consumer reporter John Matteris is live in the newsroom with just how much more we may have to pay at the pump in the coming days, John. Well, Craig, for two months now, tri-state drivers have been pleasantly surprised at the gas pump. Prices are down a long way from June's $5 plus price spike. But that streak of good luck is over. It has been a good run from mid-July until now. Cincinnati gas prices dropped from five bucks and twenty cents down to three forty. But to start this week, have you noticed those prices are back up ten cents a gallon to three fifty-five and three fifty-nine, according to GasBuddy.com. The weekend jump, however, was not due to Hurricane Ian, but rather due to several refinery fires and shutdowns. Now the hurricane has already shut down two BP oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico, so the future of oil prices is very uncertain. Fast forwarding into the fall and winter months when there's traditionally less demand for fuel. And now there's a lot of concerns in the industry about the potential for a global recession. I think it's important to know that this is very much a volatile market. It's changing every single day. So it is really hard to develop long term expectations on what prices are going to be down the road. That's Mark Jenkins of AAA, who says a lot depends on how long oil rigs are shut down this week and if there's any long term damage to them or any refineries. But the good news is that with crude oil prices down from $100 to $80 the past month, AAA is hoping pump prices will soon resume their slide once the storm has passed. Greg. All right, John Matteris, thank you for the latest.